Hi, my name is Kim. I'm an East Asian medical provider and I am licensed. I'm certified through the national organization and I was educated at one of the leading TCM schools here in the United States. And today you and I, we're going to make a really easy recipe filled with foods that nourish yin. So why are we talking about what foods you can eat to nourish yin? Well, remember what got us here was the episode on why am I thirsty all the time? So being thirsty all the time doesn't have to be about diabetes. It doesn't have to be about you being dehydrated, even though it can be those things. But let's say it's not. Then what is causing your thirst? And that is going to be what Chinese medicine calls yin deficiency. So today we're going to look at foods that are specific about nourishing yin. So you can get over that yin deficiency. And most of the time you notice yin deficiency as you get older. Yet so many things are happening in younger and younger generations that you might even have this as early as your early 30s. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, got to go to the grocery store so that I can pick up some foods to use in this week's episode so you can figure out some foods you can use to help replenish your yin. Well, it's spring and it's almost the end of the tree flowering season. So you can see the flowers on the ground here as we're driving. Okay, I got this recipe off of delicious.com and there are eight ingredients in the quiche. So here are the ingredients. Now I was able to modify this. I took out these three ingredients. So I eliminated the extra egg yolk. I reduced the eggs to four eggs. I added in three ounces of tofu and I don't really like maple syrup, so I changed maple syrup to agave syrup. Hey, are you wondering why I switched out part of the eggs for tofu? Well, I switched it out because if this was just all eggs, this quiche would be too heavy for me. And tofu doesn't change the flavor and it just makes it so much lighter. Now the recipe also had a recipe for pastry to make your quiche pastry and I really like the thought of the apple cider vinegar but I didn't use this at all because this was the first time that I was using this cool heritage whole wheat flour and I really needed to kind of understand how it worked when you're making products with it. So I just did a traditional pastry. What's in this recipe that nourishes yin? Well almost 70% of this recipe nourishes yin. So the feta cheese nourishes yin, the eggs nourish yin, the tofu, the agave syrup, the sweet potatoes, the olive oil, the milk, and the heritage flour all nourish yin. Hey, before we go any further, you know what? Ingredients do matter. And these are farm fresh eggs and this is a farm fresh egg and a grocery store egg. Look at the difference in size on these two eggs. This one's the grocery store egg. And then the one next to it is the farm fresh egg. There is a significant difference in size in these two eggs. I am really lucky that I have these farm fresh eggs to use today with this quiche. Okay, we've got our ingredients, so let's start with our prep. 
I pre-made my pastry. Now, you don't have to do that. You can get yours at the grocery store or you can make your pastry, but I wanted to use this heritage whole wheat flour. I've never used heritage whole wheat before. So I pre-made my pastry. Now, the other thing that you're going to have to do, tofu. You're going to have to drain the water out of it. And how I do it is I just put another plate on top of it and then I put a book on top of that and I let it sit for 15 minutes. Then all you have to do is chop up your onions, chop up your potatoes, and you're ready to start cooking. I'm going to take the onions and I'm going to saute them and caramelize them. I'm going to take a minute to prep the sweet potatoes. And all that is is taking those cut up pieces, putting it in a bowl, adding that agave syrup, mixing it up, and then I'm going to set this aside because I'm going to layer this on top of the quiche after everything else is in the pastry. After you've drained your tofu, I like to put mine in the food processor, blend it up, and then add in everything else. So I'm going to add in the four eggs. Add in the milk. And then let's add in the spices, which is going to be the paprika, the thyme and the rosemary, salt and pepper. And then I'm going to blend the ingredients together. You've got all your pre-work done, and now it's time to put your quiche together. Start by layering in the onions. After you've got the onions in, add in the feta. Pour your egg mixture over the top. And lastly, layer in those sweet potatoes. I heated the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 160 degrees Celsius, I believe. And I baked the quiche for about 45 minutes in my oven. For you, it's going to be anywhere between 45 to 60 minutes. And then I pulled it out and this is what it looks like, which is really delicious. And it ended up being really delicious. Now, I wanted to tell you about the pastry because this flour, this heritage whole wheat flour, really, really shocked me. Working with it, this flour is softer than any of the other flours that I've worked with, and it opens up to your ingredients. It absorbs your ingredients in a way that no other flour that I've worked with in the last 20 years does. It's like all the other flours that I was working with are dried and dead and sealed off. So this was really interactive with the ingredients. And when it was baking, that really shocked me because it was like I was blown back to when I was eight years old and I could smell the pastries cooking in the oven. The smell, it was so sweet and so full and so fragrant. I have not smelled that in over 30 years. So really excited about this flour. I'm going to use it a lot more. And this quiche, it really added to this quiche and made it taste delicious. Well, that quiche turned out great. Thank you, Delicious.com, for putting out the original recipe. And with just a few modifications, I was able to make that work better for me. So 
If you're tired of those dry, cracked feet or tired of being thirsty all the time, or if you're having problems sleeping, you might want to look at eating yin nourishing foods. And if you're curious if Chinese nutritional therapy might help you improve your health, well, there should be a link in the video here or in the video description below that will allow you to schedule a free 60 minute coaching call with me where we can look at what your health goals are and what's getting in the way of those health goals and if Chinese nutritional therapy might help you improve your health. Okay, you guys, until next time, I'll catch you on the other side.